hello everyone welcome back into this channel and today i want to share the tutorial how to add a seamless transition on the CapCut application so first thing we have to do is just go open the CapCut application and now let's create a new uh, project by clicking the new project and after that since i have no videos let's go uh, into the stock videos that provide by the CapCut and here i already choose the stock videos as well as the uh, section I use a scenery section and now we just need to choose uh, the video that we want to add into our project okay we just need to mark into the circles part okay let's move okay I already choose five videos and after that I just need to go click add okay we can see here that all of the clip has different lengths so i want to make it like shorter so that our video will not gonna be like too long i want to each clip have like uh, at least like three seconds so on the three seconds i make this straight line stop in the three seconds and after that just go click the clip and go click split and delete okay so for the next clip or the second clip i want to make the straight line stop in the six okay and after that just do the same go click the clip split and delete and let's do that for the rest of the video i want to make it shorter i think from three second into the second okay just do the same go click split and delete okay and now i already have the clip that i want and to make a seamless transition, you just need to go click this a square uh, symbols here and you will be activated a transitions features that provide by the CapCut. You just need to go find out a mix transitions here. Okay, and you can adjust in the length of the uh, transitions that you want to add. If you find out it's good, quite good, just need to click it. Just do the same. Click the square, go click mix, and done. Click the square, go click mix, and done. Square, mix, and done. Okay, so let's try to see the result. And that's all the way how to create a seamless transition on a CapCut application. If you find that this tutorial is useful for you guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe into this channel.